Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to bring you another review. This time is the Figma Bloodborne Hunter. So, let's get started. Uh, you guys don't know, but I got into Bloodborne really late. Uh, I suck at it. But uh, it's actually fun once you kind of get the hang of things. I was thrown in the wrong way. But I really love the design of this. And even though I'm a noob at this, it's, it's really, really fun to see a figure made out of something you just jumped into. So, I'm really ecstatic. Um... Real quick, I want to talk about how cool the design is of the helmet and the hunter. And considering you can personally design your hunter, you pretty much go with the default character version of it. Let's try to get some more light on here. Because you can't see it, but the hunter has blue eyes. I'm trying to get... I guess... <laughs> I can't see it. But the hunter has blue eyes, and I'll be able to show that off in uh, a photo. And the scarf is a soft plastic. And it's really nice to just see something done really well in terms of detail. Not that Good Smile doesn't have the detail, but it's really nice sometimes to see it captured a little differently. And I really like this. So stuff like the wash and detail, it's all really done, at least to me, really, really well. So real quick, I want to go into articulation. From the head, you can go up, you can go down. It's obviously hindered by this character's collar, but you can still rotate it really, really well. It's not that you can't get anywhere. So... Kudos to them for that, because you know, most of the time when stuff is hindered by the collar, it really just, it's stuck and you don't get anything out of it. But you actually get a little bit more. Now, as far as arm articulation, you get a little pull and drop down method here with it. And there's a rotating joint that's an inside bicep swivel, but it's not cut here. But it's an inner swivel that allows you to rotate it in and out. The arm is single jointed, and it only goes about this far, but it does rotate and swivel out. I should have did that motion. But uh, it does rotate and swivel out. And the arm gauntlets are just really, really nice. The pegs still rotate in and out and all the way around, so you won't have any issue there. Now, this right here, I haven't tried taking it off, but I'm pretty sure you can if it hasn't attached to it. Nope, sorry. So it's actually attached to it right up here. Otherwise, you can move the other bits of it around freely. So seven-eighths of it, you can pretty much move around. Now, as far as waist articulation, you can rotate left and right at the top. You can ab crunch just about this far. So that's the part where it sucks. So as you can see, you can rotate the arms flat out. One thing that I thought is really weird that it actually wiggles here. That's something kind of new to me. Uh, maybe I just now noticed it. But because of that, I'm just a little weirded out. But the arm can't sit all the way flush up. So that's another thing that kind of bothers me. But it's not enough to make me go, ah, you know, this is terrible. It's just something where I know the jacket is in the way of the item. Now, as far as the legs go, legs can go this far out stretch this far out which really isn't bad for a figment especially when it's being hindered by the jacket the legs aren't double jointed they're single jointed and they go about this far there's ankle articulation as well and there's a toe pivot what's really cool on the back side of the hunter is that if you lift up the backhand skirt you see that the back of his jacket is on a peg that allows you to rotate out which leaves a huge uh gap here i don't know if you guys can see that but there is a gigantic gap here. If you want to fill it in, you can, but it will hinder his back articulation that allows him to extend a little further back. But overall, I mean, I like the hunter. I want to see if he can get into some cool poses. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that at all. So I lifted his leg up and the side arm pouch actually fell out. It fell right out. So Maybe it was me, maybe I went too far, but it ripped right out of its plastic. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm a little disappointed in that because it should have been made better. If I wanted to extend the leg up, it shouldn't have done that. So that's kind of a bummer for me. So I'm going to leave that out for a second, but that actually just happened on camera. So that's a bit of a bummer for me. So I'm going to extend the leg back up, try to get some poses in, see what it's looking like. Because you want to test out the posing. You want to make sure it gets done. So you can definitely pose. Definitely. Will it look a little awkward with the cape and without the piece? Maybe, but I'm sure you can finagle something. So Hunter can pose. I like that. Now, as far as weapons and what Hunter comes with, the Hunter actually comes with his Hunter's pistol. The mechanism doesn't move, but it's soft plastic at the top. It's actually pretty nice. Let's get some light on there. And I feel like everything is kind of a, a grayscale tone to this game. So they actually matched it here. And I really like that the Hunter Pistol looks the part. It's really nice. 
Next up, we have the signature weapon that most people start off with is the saw cleaver. So you obviously get it in two forms. It's folded form and it's uh, dual, well, it's other form, the saw cleaver. There are, incant well, not incantation, but there is a language written on one side while it's not on the other. And it looks worn and it's worked on and it's bandaged in places. I really like the look of this. It's really nice. Saw cleaver is pretty dope. This is a cool and crazy weapon. Shout out to my man, uh, Blind Mech, who is working on weapons. As soon as he has some, I'm going to have some. And now, as far as weapons, I'm sorry, as far as hands go, you get the Hunter Pistol Holding Weapon. I mean, Hunter Pistol Holding Hand. Wow, I am off. <laughs> so, as you can see here, it fits into the Hunter's Pistol. Hold it really well. It actually holds it really tight as well. Next up, we have Relax Hands. Then we have hands for holding uh, the Saw Cleaver. And we have hands for holding just regular items for other stuff. So there's eight hands in total on the rack, two on his fist, so that's ten total. It's really nice. Real quick, let's get into size comparison to talk about uh, how big the Hunter is. Now, normally Figmas are non-scaled, so sometimes they come out smaller. But there are occasions like Scuts and uh, uh, Lancer where they come out a little bit taller. So, let's take a look. Let's move all the stuff around. Here he is next to an Articulated Icons Ninja where he is not that much smaller than the ninja. It's really nice. Here he is next to a uh, 1,000 toy synthetic human. Again, not much smaller. So he's actually in a nice range of fitting in with other imports and some domestics. Articulate icons, I guess, would be uh, domestic for the people. Here he is next to a 1,000 toys killing. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider. Here he is next to a SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. Not bad. I like the scaling of this. I like that he can blend with other stuff. Last but not least, here he is next to a Mezco Captain America. Where he looked tiny, obviously, next to Cap. But, you know, you get the drift of it. All in all, I like the Figma Hunter. I like that it's different. I like the detail of it. I like the style of it. I'm a little bummed about losing uh, my weapon satchel, which I'm pretty much probably just going to glue and it's not going to be a big deal. Hopefully it won't be a big deal, but it's pretty hot here. It's 101 degrees, so that's probably what did it. It's no big deal to me. I'm just bummed that it happened. But all in all, great figure. If you like it, if you love Bloodborne, go get it. I got it because I'm a casual fan of it and I still went and got it. So that says something about me, right? In the meantime, guys, hope you found this informative and I hope you enjoyed. In the meantime, I hope you do good, be good, drink your water. Later, guys.